Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we move to the women's division. Let me introduce Yulita Yuhnovi! I'm Yulita Juchnevinovich, I'm 22 years old. So I don't need uh, a nickname to be remembered, I'm just Yula. Uh, I fought uh, once in MMA, I won it uh, by a submission. Uh, 16 years uh, I was dancing, I was even uh, at the World Championship. Uh, I like social media, I like uh, doing uh, photos. Uh, I'm developing myself uh, as a cosmetician. In future I would like to open a beauty salon. Uh, I'm uh, taking uh, part in a slap fighting because I'm brave, uh, I like uh, new challenges. I like it, uh, the uh, weirdest uh, thing that uh, I eat and I like is a raw meat. The win isn't uh, the most important thing. For me, uh, everything can happen. Damn, what a cringe. And her opponent wearing white, Natalia Ivanovi! I'm Natalia Ivanovich. I have, uh, I'm 28 years old. I live in Warsaw. I was able to mix up passion and uh, work. Uh, I'm an in instructor of pole dance and air dance. This will be my first fight in slap fighting. I've decided uh, to eat because of money. Why? Because uh, I think that money, are, money is very important. I have lots of tattoos, but they don't have uh, any particular meaning. I like tattooed body. I'm a very stubborn and consistent. I don't know anything about uh, my uh, opponent. Uh, I had a, a busted nose, injured uh, eye, so it's nothing new for me. It won't be worse. Rocky, will you support me? Our final female slap fighting contest of the okay, evening, but we still also do have an ass slapping contest as well. But this will be under female slap fighting rules, Daniel, as we take a look at the tail of the tape here. Obviously a significant difference in age. Uh, Yulita, much younger, but other than that, pretty close. Yes, uh, we have uh, some kind of uh, clash of uh, two social uh, media uh, fans uh, because uh, Natalia Ivanovic uh, in purple, uh, she is more like a Instagram celebrity. Uh, Yulita Yuchnovic uh, in red, uh, she is more like a TikTok influencer, but uh, as uh, she said uh, in the uh, preview, uh, she has one MMA uh, fight. Uh, she won it by a submission, by a choke. But uh, tonight uh, we won't have any chokes, uh, any submissions, even no punches, because uh, we have a slap here, of course. And there's different table uh, for the ladies. Yeah, the table's much lower and it's not as wide. And let's see what Ivanovic can do with her first slap of the contest. Not much. <laughs> Not a whole lot behind that one, Daniel. Well, let's have another look at it, or, or, or a lack thereof, perhaps. And, uh, well... No, we, we can't uh, compare it uh, to Valdex's uh, shot. Maybe she's just getting warmed up. You know? yes, let's, maybe let's, let's give her just, another uh... shot here. Maybe in round two she'll come back with something more. Uh, or maybe she'll be knocked out. Let's see what Juhanovic can do. A little bit better than Ivanovic, but, well, you saw it. I think these two could be better cut out for slap ass uh, than for slap face. Uh, but it is what it is here. You know, there is money at stake here, Daniel. You know, the winners get paid well. And so if I were these girls, you know, I would be really investing in some training here. 
uh, in this. Maybe they're nervous. Maybe they just don't have it in them. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's a stress uh, factor because uh, during their round one, they seemed like they did not uh, have any training. But th there was, uh, there are uh, a second uh, of uh, Ivanovic. We could see the tips uh, for for uh, Ivanovic just before the slap, just hit strong. But she did not. Well, it's not for everybody. And obviously, I don't think that these two. I think they're much better cut out for uh, twerking or uh, you know making dog videos or whatever they're doing in their free time, pole dancing perhaps, rather than slap fighting. Well, not even her little dog Rocky could save her from that one. The emotional support animal could be needed after that devastating slap, Daniel. Let's see it again. Nothing doing that time. Yulita Yuchnovic uh, seemed to have a very stiff hand. It's, uh, it's no, not uh, all. Uh, it's not all body work. I think it could be the case here where the girls are nervous to actually hurt the other one. You know, you either have it inside of you. You're either a fighter or you're not. And I think that they, that they actually they don't want to actually hurt the other girl. See if that changes now. Oh, yeah, it was not. Yeah, that was a little better now. That one actually did some damage. You could hear the slap on that one and watch your head too. Oh yeah. And I think everybody's eyebrows kind of raised in the arena like, oh, all right, not bad. So the third slap of this contest for Natalia Ivanovic, the best one. Yeah, it may, it may be a game changer if uh, Yuchnovic won't improve uh, herself uh, in a third attempt. Well, let's see how bad Yuchnovic wants that money. Is she going to let her have it this time or not? Oh, I think we need a couple extra rounds here, Daniel, because they're just starting to get into it now. I am i won't be shocked if uh, there will be an overtime. I want to see an extra round right now because, you know, in that third round, that's when things really started to heat up there. And if we had five or six rounds here, I think things would get a lot more violent. Again, not the most devastating slap, but the best one of the fight so far. I still think I give the edge to Ivanovic, though, on that last slap. Her third slap was the best. Well, let's see what the judges come up with here. They're still conferring over there. I think the first two rounds, even, in my opinion, uh, and the third round going to Ivanovic, but let's see what they decide. I don't see the ring announcer ready yet, so maybe we will have an extra round. Yeah, we will have an extra round. Karol Matuszek, the main referee, uh, confirmed okay, it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have overtime. One extra round. That's a good decision. Because the, the first three rounds didn't do much. Oh, and that's a good one. The best one so far. Yuknovic really let her have it that time. Have another look here. Yeah. You can tell she really put something into it that time, whatever she has. World dancing champion. Going into a completely different world here in slap fighting championship. And maybe starting to like it a little bit more now. But we know that Ivanovic likes tattoos. She's got one more chance to tattoo her opponent's face. Oh! It was hard. Yeah, she shook her a little bit there. What do you think, Daniel? You got a winner in mind here? The details, the, the details will be the decisive. Uh, we are not uh, the, the specialists as uh, the judges. 
So uh, I'm very curious about the, the final decision. Yeah, these, these judges have been with this organization since the beginning. They've seen a lot of contests. That was a nicely placed shot though. You can see right on the cheekbone and on the chin. Do we have a decision or not? I think that cameraman thinks they should be suited for slap ass as well. Okay, we will have a final decision. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after overtime, we go to the judges' scorecard for your winner. Yulita! Yulita! Yuknovich wins it by decision. Ivanovich came here for the money, Daniel. She's leaving with a sore face. I'm very sorry for her. Natalia, you've just uh, fought with uh, Yulita. Tell me if you have expected uh, this kind of things that uh, you will lose or... It was uh, like a lottery. We are very similar. Uh, we have a similar experience. So the best uh, one, that's all. Have you stressed? No, uh, not any stress. Maybe just before the walkout and uh, you know the thing that a uh, couple of uh, people watched us what was the emotions <laughs> during uh, the fight i was i had a clear mind yes i was uh, very uh, focused congratulations uh, have you expected uh, this kind of uh, things i was feeling that uh, i can win this I haven't uh, any doubts. Of course, there was some stress. We are very similar in terms of uh, size, but I'm very glad that I won. Was you scared about uh, a loss? I, I saw uh, the previous uh, fights uh, when uh, where there was uh, lots of knockout, and I I wanted to just uh, change the rules to a slap us, but uh, finally uh, I did my work, and uh, I'm glad. Are you hurt? I'm, I feel warm. I'm uh, cooling uh, my face, but uh, I'm fine. They call me Max uh, right now, Mad Max, because of uh, my brutal knockout, uh, knockouts at uh, Slap Fighting Championship events. Uh, I was training uh, boxing uh, for uh, uh, seven years. I have uh, 24 uh, amateur fights. I love uh, adrenaline. I love risk. I will uh, fight uh, for a fourth time. Almost uh, all my all wins, uh, only one loss. All, almost uh, all my hits are knocking out. There was some brutal knockouts in the past. I've decided uh, to it because I, I got used to, to win and I'm sure that I will uh, win this time as well. Uh, every day uh, I'm a very calm and easygoing uh, guy, but I'm also a monster. In my head I have uh, only one thing, uh, the win, I'm very self-confident. About uh, my uh, opponent I can tell only one, let's take a pillow with you because we'll be put asleep. And let's meet his opponent, Marius Zibiski Manius! Wearing white, first time in slap fighting, age 37.
I'm Mariusz Dziewiński. I'm from Nova Sul, but uh, I'm living in Italy for 20 years. I'm a chef. Uh, yes, I had a restaurant in Italy. It's one of my passions. Uh, sport is my work and uh, passion. Uh, I, I'm training at the gym uh, and before this uh, boxing, kickboxing, uh, judo. Right now I'm a personal uh, trainer uh, at uh, the gym. Sport is uh, my passion uh, of a chi uh, since childhood. Uh, I was twice at Mr. Italia. It was a, a bodybuilding uh, competition and twice I was second. There will be my uh, SFC debut. We will see if I am able to have any achievements uh, on this sport. Uh, I'm uh, stubborn, uh, consistent, uh, but I'm not uh, doing uh, the successes, uh, not at all costs. I don't want to harm uh, anyone by doing a by making a success. I know that uh, my opponent was in USA. He had uh, multiple uh, fights, and he is a good opponent. Max, prepare your jaw. Okay, let's be ready for strong and fast punch. It's time for round number one. All right, Daniel, co-main event of the evening at Slap Fighting Championship Underground. The title is on the line here. This is a light heavyweight contest as we take a look at the tail of the tape between Maniac and Mad Max. Big guys, uh, big slaps, uh, and uh, we will have a... I hope so. We will have uh, maybe a big knockout. I think that Mad Max could have the edge here. Uh, he certainly has a lot more experience than Javinsky has. Uh, he's taller, and we've seen in previous fights here tonight that sometimes height does make uh, a difference here. But I think that Mad Max also has a different mindset coming into this thing. I heard Javinsky say uh, in his pre-fight interview he's not perhaps willing to push the limits all the way. I mean, he has a day job, he's a cook, uh, he, he, you know, he's a, a personal trainer. Maybe he doesn't want to completely risk it. Whereas you can just tell by looking at Mad Max right now, the way he's pa uh, pacing back and forth, he just looks like he's a different breed of cat. You said uh, something about uh, Mad Max... Uh advantage uh, experience advantage uh, he uh, was even a finalist uh, of uh, slap uh, fighting uh, competition uh, he has uh, lots of uh, fights we will see how he will do in the first round oh, good night what a shot there from mad max and i think that our predictions may have come true he did not end it ladies and gentlemen it is not over yet but that's about as close as you can get have another look here. Watch this. Bam! Great technique, the way he was winding up for that one. And he really uncorked one hell of a shot there that I don't think Mariusz Gravinski was completely prepared for. I think uh, he got uh, shocked uh, by, by the first uh, contact <laughs> with his opponent's uh, hand. I'll say. Look at this. Oh, man. Like a lightning bolt there just striking Maniac right across the face. And you can see that his legs gave out there and he went into convulsions a little bit. But let's say it, uh, we could expect it uh, from uh, Leśniak's uh, side. We don't know what to expect uh, from uh, Grzewinski. Uh, if, he, if he will be uh, strong, if he will have a strong hit, uh, if he will be able uh, to and, uh, turn the things around and it's also his disadvantage because he got hit first and so if he were the one to hit first maybe it would be different but now he's got a hit after being hit oh not even close not even close to the kind of damage that Mad Max was able to inflict. This is this is a completely lopsided contest at this point, and I'm, yeah, no way. 
Um, if he's gonna compete with Mad Max, that's that's not gonna cut it. Well, things are really gonna get interesting now, Daniel. <laughs> we move into round number two. I am a little bit concerned here uh, in the immediate future for the health and the safety of Mateusz Javinsky. Things could get ugly here, and they could get ugly very quickly. We can see how he reacted to, to his uh, opponent's hit. Punch raised. Uh, he feels very strong, very confident, and uh, he will have a second opportunity. Now, Javinsky says he's a, a cook in Italy. He might be drinking through a straw for the next couple days. We know that Mad Max has the ability to put people out. We've seen it before. Is he going to switch it up? Is he going left-handed now? Maybe he's ambidextrous. Or maybe he injured his right hand. Oh, he's going right-handed. Oh, and he put him out. He put him out, and this one is history, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say we didn't expect it. But that is a KO victory for Mad Max. Another uh, KO uh, in the slap fighting uh, career uh, of uh, Mad Max, uh, Maximilian Lesniak. Well, that second slap was the cherry on top of the cake, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that Javinsky is okay. He's made it back up to his feet. Somebody will have to inform him what happened later. <laughs> but, Another good knockout victory here for Maximilian Leshniak, Mad Max. He still doesn't have a clue where he is. Take one more look at it. Boom! Right upside the head that time. And this time the security was right on point that time and, and able to catch him. Everybody in the house knew what was coming. It was, the only question was how bad it was going to be. Well, there he is, your new champion, Maximilian Leshniak. Does it again after a brilliant knockout in America at Slap Fight Championship 1 in front of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Logan Paul. Does it again here tonight in Poland. He's going to be tough to beat in future editions of Slap Fighting Championship. Hello, a slap fighter, Maximilian Lechniak. Mad Max. Uh, Max is even more mad right now. Another KO scored at the SFC. Mad Max, have you expected the KO victory? Of course, uh, I have visualized uh, this kind of victory in my head. Was uh, this uh, the main factor or it was just uh, you are a better fighter? Definitely uh, visualizing uh, is making uh, things easier. If uh, something uh, won't, won't uh, go uh, properly in your head, uh, you can be sometimes uh, shocked. No slap power, but Polish power. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our last uh, fight, championship belt is waiting. And I like to introduce Two awesome fighters. The first one, Peter Truchnik Alligator. Hey, 
Big color. I'm Petr Truchlik, I'm from Slovakia. They call me alligator. Why? Because I'm fucking strong. Back in the days, uh, I, I liked the martial arts, but I wanted uh, to do arm wrestling. I'm multiple champion of Slovakia in arm wrestling, but here I will be king. Work I'm doing here made my iron hand. It will be my uh, first time in the slap fighting and another win. I know that my opponent is a good athlete, but in our fight it won't uh, make any matter. And his opponent wearing white. Julian Lane, let me My name is Julian Lane. I'm 35 years old, and I come from Mansfield, Ohio, USA. My nickname is Let Me Bang because I love to bang. Uh, you know, starting out at a young age, I was a wrestler and wrestling champion, national champion. And uh, when I was an adult, I started fighting mixed martial arts, and I made it onto the Ultimate Fighter reality show. Um, I was on there, the Ultimate Fighter two, two seasons, and then I went on to becoming Bare Knuckle Boxing World Champion. I'm a family man. I am, I'm a father of four kids. I have four daughters. I decided to participate in Slap Fighting Championship. I was watching it on TV one day, and I, I thought it would be a, you know, a, a new opportunity for me to achieve new goals and to make more money. I, a fight's a fight to me. I don't care. Gloves, no gloves headbutting, kicking, whatever. I have the heart of a lion, and I'm not scared to fight anybody. Um, I never quit, I never give up. I always fight to win, and I'm a showman. I put on a show for the fans. Uh, I see my fight, I win coin toss, and I knock my opponent out with the first strike. I know my opponent is arm wrestling champion of Slovakia, and he's a strong, durable man, and I expect a good fight. If I don't get the knockout in the first round, then I will still win if it goes to the distance. Let me bang, bro. All right, Daniel, here we go. Main event time here, Slap Fighting Championship Underground. This is Daniel Austin here alongside Daniel Jubiski to call the action in this title contest, Daniel. Uh, we have uh, slap fighting veteran uh, from Slovakia, Petr uh, Truchlik uh, against uh, Julian Lane, uh, who uh, fought in the uh, reality show of the UFC, The Ultimate uh, Fighter. Uh, he also uh, have uh, fo fights uh, in a bare knuckle boxing uh, competition, so no doubt a very uh, tough fighter. Well, here's the coin toss, and it does appear that Alligator will get the first slap, and that is a huge, huge advantage for him because you've seen it just as many times as I have, Daniel. Sometimes it only takes one slap to finish it, and the coin very often could decide your fate. Definitely uh, Lane uh, got used to receive... Uh strong punches, even uh, punches without any gloves. Uh, but uh, here it's a totally different uh, thing, oh, totally is, different sport. This is completely different because here you can't defend yourself. You can't block those things. You can't keep your guard up. You just got to sit there and take it. Can he take the shot from Peter Truchlik, the alligator? Others in the past could not. And even though we know that Lane is a very experienced fighter, uh, Alligator has more experience in this realm, in this kind of a discipline. Round number one. He didn't get him with all of it that time. It was a good shot, but I don't think he got 
100% of what he was looking for. And Lane survives round one and will now have to give it back. Take another look. Yeah, he got him on the chin, but I don't know. There was just something about it. Based on uh, previous fights, maybe the table came into play a, a little bit there. It was a decent shot. It, it was not his best shot. Uh, and now we will see what Julian Lane can give in return. So he does have 30 seconds here to compose himself and get ready to return the favor. Referees also uh, making their ruling on who they thought uh, or, or what they thought of that first slap. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that they get three rounds here. And it's knockout, submission, or decision. It was powerful. I, I have to say that it was, it was definitely uh, powerful. Uh, but uh, let's uh, f uh, let's remember uh, that uh, Alligator has uh, proper experience in the slap fight. Uh, he know how to receive all those shots, and even uh, from a professional fighter's side. Yep. Take another look at it here. Lands cleanly. It lands very very cleanly on the chin. But I am. Uh, very impressed with how well Alligator was able to take that shot. The power uh, came from uh, the whole body. The technique uh, was uh, proper. Yeah, and look at the way he follows through, too, with that strike. <laughs> Looks like he just woke up from a nap or something. Definitely earned each other's respect after round number one. But coming up right now, round number two. Keep in mind, too, that obviously uh, Lane speaks no Polish. And even though uh, Truchlik is from Slovakia, you heard in his uh, pre-fight interview, Daniel, that he was speaking fluent Polish. So he knows what the referees are saying. Here we go. Oh! Definitely, uh, Truchlik makes more impact uh, than his opponent uh, after that uh, free slaps, I can, uh, I can say. Uh, even uh, if uh, Lane also is landing uh, very, very uh, cleanly. Yeah, that was better than his first one. He got, he got the, the chin on that one. You can see he hit him right in the jaw. Boom. It was a low shot that caught him in the in the lower portion of his jaw and stumbled him backwards. And it took a little bit. He was a little bit out of it after that one. And it took him a few seconds to gather his wits about him. He'll have 30 seconds in total. So second slap of the contest here for Lane coming up. And I think he really needs to make a statement here, Daniel, because he got rocked there by Truchlik in that last round. And he needs to do something to get himself back in this thing. The first shot uh, off uh, Let Me Bank was nice, uh, was powerful, was kind of clean. We will see how he will do in the second round. But it's also about how much damage you can inflict to your opponent. And it, the most visible damage so far was done in that second slap there from Alligator. Even if, he, if he's losing on the scorecards, uh, he's shown that he has a potential. Oh, yeah. And at definitely. any point, at any point, somebody could be knocked out. Are you kidding me with these two guys? And the judges here, I think, are warning, perhaps, uh, Alligator about keeping his feet on the ground and throwing a legal slap.
Now, he does have his shoulders protruding there quite a bit. Yeah, he's telling him to lower his shoulders there. It's hard to get the hand in there and get a clean slap if your shoulders are blocking it. The aim is, is to get as good of a defensive stance as possible without breaking the rules. Oh, he just let him have it on the very first time. He didn't warm up at all. That sounded like a gunshot, Daniel. He wanted to let him bang, bang and he is banging. <laughs> he certainly is. And I think he may have uh, loosened one of his molars. Three. You, you hit second. You hit second. Three. One. Second. And two. Oh, this is an issue. Yeah, he, he let him have it on the very first time. And there's a, a, a specific way that you've got to do it. First, you put your hand up there and then you get a practice one, and then you hit him. He put his hand up and then hit him, instead of giving him a, you know, a, a warning blow. That... See, and now here, it sh he's got the hand up, and there it should be like a, you know, he puts the hand close, and then he lets it go. No, he got him right in the ear, too. Anyway, it's not like he's gonna get a do-over. That's round number two. And so uh, we move into round number three now. And both these guys, I think, at this point, have felt the full power that their opponent has. And they're ready for more. Oh! Good night! And I don't think they're going to let this thing go on. Are they going to let it go on? He looks like he wants to get up and continue this thing. But that looked like a clean knockout to me. We have a He stretch. did make it up to his feet here, but now it's a judgment call. He's going to have to take a few steps forward, and uh, the judges are going to have to make a decision here if this thing should be allowed to go on or not. I don't know about this one. And I think that's it. But his reaction... Is that it? But his reaction was, uh, let, me, let me go on. Right, but now it's a judgment call whether that's in his best interest or not. I'm not very hopeful about this. But they're going to give him every chance possible to keep going because that's what he wants. But when somebody's unconscious, you know, sometimes you need to make that decision for them. Let's take another look here. Oh, God. Yeah, you can see he was out as soon as he hit him when he was falling backwards. But he recovered quickly, though. Very clean. Very oh, clean. Yeah. I mean, he's been fighting for a while. I'm sure he's. this is not the first time he's lost consciousness. And so you also have to take that into account uh, as well. Well, let's see what they decide here. That man... Oh, you can see his eyes roll back there. He's on a he's in a different dimension there for a moment. Look at the size of the forearms there of Alligator. Well, we still have some deliberation here. And at this point, it's almost out of the hands of Lane. And in the hands of the judges, are they going to let this thing continue or no? I think so. Looks like continue. he's come around a little bit here. And we will continue. Tough, tough uh, man. So this is uh, his uh, last chance to turn, turn the things around. Right. And it is the third round. So uh, after this slap, he may not have to take another one unless there's an extension round. And so they're going to let it go on. And they're just warning him again about the rules. Put your hand up there. You get a practice swing. And then you let him have it. Well, let's see how much power he's got left after that vicious shot that he just took.
Mmm, not a good one. Not his best shot. I think that he was a li he was rocked really hard in that uh, third slap from Truchli. Let's take another look at it here. It looks a little bit, yeah, the middle of his hand, his palm hit the ear, his fingers wrapped around the back of the head. That's an illegal shot. You can't hit in the back of the head like that. And I, I think it's not, it wasn't on purpose. I just think that he's maybe seeing two or three <laughs> of Truchli right now. And he was not able to land that shot very precisely, Daniel. I think uh, by this shot, uh, before this shot, uh, he could uh, lose uh, the the feeling of the distance. Uh, I think uh, the distance uh, of, of that slap was, was not uh, good. Well, Daniel, uh, after three rounds, both guys are still standing. And the judges are trying to come to some kind of a decision here. Keep in mind there is the possibility of an extra round for that title. Maybe while we're waiting, we can get a little bit of ass slapping in the meantime between the ring girls. Well, I don't see the ring announcer available right now, so maybe we will have an extra round. Okay. And it appears that there will be an extra round here. So it means that Julian Lane will have one shot here because it was uh, Truthly who went first when we started the slap fighting contest. It now means that Lane will be hitting first. And uh, it's do or die time for him. He's got one slap. If he knocks him out, he wins. If he doesn't, then he loses. Look at how well uh, Truchlik is prepared to take this slap, the way he holds himself. I think that's why he does so well. Oh, God! A vicious shot there! But Truchlik just takes it, and that means that he is the winner. He was not knocked out. How could you not be knocked out? Look at the power behind that shot from Julian Lane. That was incredible, but it still was not enough to knock out the alligator. Had a mate uh, from the marble. Look at this. Boom! Oh my God. And look at Lane. He's like, yeah, I, I gotta have it here. No, he didn't. Well, I'll tell you what. That just shows exactly how tough Peter Truchlik is to be able to take a shot like that from a, a professional MMA fighter, somebody as accomplished as Lane is, and he's still standing. And so I, I think that they're, they're trying to explain now uh, to Lane what's going on here, and they're having our medical team take one last look at him. He says that he's good to go, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, he's ready to go. He says, come on, I want to continue this thing. I want to go, but that's not going to happen. He was unable to knock out Truchlik, and that's a bitter pill to swallow. But that's the way this thing goes. Yeah, there, there, there's no uh, way and uh, no sense to continue and uh, make uh, situations like this to to uh, force Julian Lane to to take some okay. more damage. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after overtime, we have a decision, and the winner is Peter Truchli Alligator!
Night Champion Belt. Sensational Leon victory here Leon. for Peter Truchlik of Slovakia. Your new Slap Fight Leon. Championship Leon. winner here at Underground. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very impressed with the power and also the, his defensive stance and the ability to be able to take the shots that he does is absolutely amazing. What can you tell about your opponent? Uh, my opponent, is, uh, he's a tough guy, very strong guy. I thought I was gonna get the best of him because that first round I didn't really, you know, he didn't really get me good. So I was like, yeah, that's all he got. But then I guess, uh, you know, he caught me right on the uh, on the button and uh, got a knockdown. So he won the, you know, he got the W. But tonight, you know, I'm not, a, I don't lose tonight. I just learn, you know, I'm learning, I'm learning this game. It was my first match, and I'm looking forward to. Uh, Training for the next one. I didn't really uh, have much kind of training for this. Just pretty much, uh, you know, hit, lift weightlifting and um, running, running on the treadmill and stuff like. That. You know, I just I'm looking forward to uh, getting back and uh, doing it again. That was actually, you know, that was fun, man. That was fun. So, would you like to take a revenge with him? Yeah, uh, you know, absolutely. We can. Uh, we should have a rematch. It went to overtime. Why not, right? The fight goes to overtime. I think I need a rematch, and uh, we can run it back, do it again. I know the people would love to watch it, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you know Slap Fight Championship. I appreciate everybody, uh, Damian and Jacob. You know, uh, thank you for this opportunity, and I'm just looking forward to being back to Poland. Great. So see you next time. Yes. Thank you. Thank God, and uh, thank my sponsor, Right to Bear. That's my dude, man. Let's go, baby. I'll be back. Let me bang, bro. Uh, Peter, gratuluję zwycięstwa. Peter, Peter congratulations. Mi, uh, czy to było dla ciebie pewne, że tak zakończysz walkę uh, ze swoim rywalem? Was you confident that uh, I will finish uh, this fight like this? You know, I'm not uh, very glad from myself. I had, uh, I made uh, some technical uh, mistakes, but uh, finally uh, I was able uh, to win. It was not perfect uh, performance uh, by me, but at the end of the day I won. I would like to have a rematch with him. With this uh, opponent or, or uh, different uh, opponent? I would like to face uh, him to show him that I'm really the best. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's not enough. We have prepared some extra surprise for you. Do you like it? Yeah! Let me welcome Polish champion David Zalesh The baddest man in slap fighting championship, ladies and gentlemen. The champion, David Zalemski. Multiple uh, slap fighting uh, championships uh, contest uh, veteran, uh, really tough uh, guy. And his opponents, ladies and gentlemen, we have special guests, so we must uh, go to the end of this fight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the next uh, fighter, I think, is soon. So, everybody, run, get out of here. Everybody, get out of here. Come on. Thank you very much. I think we're getting raided here, Daniel. We better get the hell out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, for Slap Fighting Championship. I hate to end this so quickly, but we got to get out of here, Daniel. No time to waste. My name is Daniel Austin for Daniel Jubiski. Thank you for joining us for Slap Fighting Championship. Until next time, so long, everybody. I remember 